uh, we were talking about you accept a lot of manuscripts. So just give us some idea of the numbers. How many queries on average are you receiving a day, a week, versus how many uh, submissions are you making versus how many clients are you taking on a year? Sure. I usually have... Hmm. I want to say I usually have between one and 200 queries a week. I, at any given time, have between 30 and 40 manuscripts on my Kindle. And I'm probably, I hate giving this last number because it sounds discouraging. I'm probably signing about five people a year. Um, and I, I know those odds aren't good, um, but, but in those numbers are, you know, are people who are going to other agents, are people who I'm passing along to colleagues, uh, who are are younger than I am, who have more space on their list. Um, the the numbers feel so daunting. Um, I, I even when I am saying them, I just I feel bad for the author listening. Um, I I don't sign on a lot. I turn down a lot, a lot more than I will ever be able to sign. Um, but I, I still want to encourage everyone to try. You know, it's a hard process. You're putting yourself out there. I, it's difficult, but um, but give it, give it a chance. Give it a chance because, you know, I think people, I think sometimes very talented people shut themselves down before before they try, and sometimes very overconfident people who aren't as talented are, are pushing out material that is, you know, that are just things that I can reject right away. So I, you know, I never want someone not to try just because they're overwhelmed by the percentages for whatever that's worth. Well, how many clients are you working with already? Um, I have a client list of about 50, which is substantial. Um, it's enough to keep me on my toes. <laughs> and and about two weeks a year, I am suddenly so backlogged that everything has to slow down. Uh, but for the most part, everyone is on a different enough schedule that I'm able to, um, to, to, to stay on top of everything. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big list, but uh, an exciting one. Well, I'd, uh, we'll, we'll focus on the on, on the five luckies and just assume that the rest are all going to find uh, wonderful agents in the back catalog of this show, folks. They're, <laughs> they're waiting for you. Go listen to the show, um, and, and, and you'll hear all kinds of wonderful uh, agents to submit to. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, uh, so um, for those uh, five that are, if, say, I'm, I, I, I'm going to sign on with you. It's day one. Uh, what happens first? I assume we have a phone conversation before we sign any kind of contract and you tell me what you're going to do. I tell you why I'll try not to screw that up. How does that conversation mm -hmm. go? And we'll go from there. Yeah, that conversation is, um, it's usually a bit of a whirlwind. I like to surprise people by offering representation on the phone uh, with no warning. <laughs> so um, you don't email to say, I'm going to, I'm going to call. I don't. I don't. Because the, the, the sort of shock and joy that comes over people is, it's too exciting not to, not to do it. Um, which Has usually that means there's... terribly wrong? <laughs> well, it... I'm at a funeral right now, but I'm really glad you called her. <laughs> oh, happily, happily people, people usually don't pick up because they don't, they don't know the number. So there's a, it's a lot of voicemails, um, more than it is people actually picking up. Um, I did, when I signed, I mentioned her earlier, uh, when I signed Nicole Mellaby, uh, she was, <laughs> I can't remember now actually if it was when I signed her or when she got her first book deal, but I remember calling her and she was um, in a gas station in New Jersey and accidentally popped the trunk to her car and was so just flabbergasted and and confused and happy. Um, it was a very fun call, um, whichever of the, the great things that we were talking about, um, whether it was, you know, new representation or, or a new contract. Um, it was a very, it was a very fun call. Um, 
so yeah, so there's also uh, there, it's often a first and second conversation that happen on the phone um, because a lot of questions go unasked that people just forgot about in in the rush. Um, but I sort of walk through first my feelings about the book and then what a submission process looks like when you work with me, how many people I go to, uh, how I communicate, how often you'll hear from me, what information you're entitled to, which is essentially all of it. You're, you're, you should be entitled to all of the information about where your book is being sh sent and shared. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a um, an overview of how the agent-client relationship works. Um, and I sign a lot of first-time authors, which is a lot of fun. Uh, so you sort of never know on that first call how much someone's going to know. Uh, so it, it, it's a little different every time. You know, some people have done all of the research in the world and know exactly what to expect. And other people, you know, have researched agents but don't really know exactly how the process works. So it's um, it's the phone call. And then from the phone call, we get to the agency agreement where you sign a, a contract where we promise our best efforts to sell the work within a limited amount of time um, for a commission. Uh, and then from there, step three is editing your work. Um, I always say that I, I'll only sign projects that I would feel comfortable sending out in the shape that they're in, but I have never actually signed something and sent it out in the shape it was in <laughs> because I love the editorial process. It's my chance to really get my hands in there and, 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 and work with the material. And I don't need to get something ready to have a cover put on it, but I need to get it ready to, to sell for the best deal I can, I can get for it. So, uh, so it's, yeah, it's call agency agreement edits and then submission and, and everything, it, you know, depends on how the submission goes. Do you ever uh, reject something and say, hey, this isn't right for me at this time, but I think the following however many changes would be fantastic. And hint, 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 I'm taking the time to write you an editorial note. <laughs> uh, and then I, I, I resubmit to you. Does that, does, has that happened for you in the past where you've been able to sign somebody? That absolutely has happened. Um, and I also mentioned her earlier. Uh, Taylor K. Mejia is someone whose book, We Set the Dark on Fire, I turned down twice. And both times said, you know, I have big ideas. No, I turned it down three times. I turned it down twice and said she should rewrite and send back to me if she agreed with my notes. And she did. And the third time I had this sort of light bulb moment where I thought, oh, there's actually, I, I really know how to fix it now. Um, and sent a sort of a big, a big pitch and, and said, you know, I don't think you're going to want to do a third revision for me. Um, and Taylor, to her endless credit, wrote back and said, I will make these changes <laughs> if you sign me. And I did. I did. I loved it. I loved it. Sight, sight unseen, just on her word that the changes would be she made, made you're on board. Visions, and she was so talented, is so talented. And it sort of took her shaking me out of it to me like, these are structural changes. You know I can write. You know I have good characters. You know that on a sentence level, what I'm doing is fantastic. And she was right. She was right. I was being, I was being too, too strict. I should have signed her on. And, and I did. And it's been, we've sold, um, four, five, seven books together now um, in the past three years. So it's it's been a really, a, a pretty fantastic uh, journey since, since she convinced me that I would be an idiot if I let her go. I'm going to try and tease a less happy, less inspiring story out of you. Because uh, I know authors obsess oh, over that phone call, especially if it's going to come unannounced. Hey, I'm at a gas station. Oh, my God, Jim McCarthy. Forget the car. Let's let's <laughs> talk. Um, what 
have you ever experienced an author that you were pretty pretty convinced you were going to sign because you loved the book, shoot themselves in the foot uh, at that point, or uh, otherwise, um, it's just how how do authors avoid screwing themselves up, and how what's the best way to handle that call that maybe flies contrary to some not so great ways you've heard people handle that call? Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to think of people who've really screwed up on the call. And I don't, I don't know that that's, you know, I've had relationships with clients where we've sort of come to an impasse where, where we're not sharing the same vision, where, where they're not feeling the level of support that they need or, or where they're writing books that don't feel like things that I, I know how to sell or they're writing about topics that, that, that I'm not particularly interested in. Those things do happen. Um, and we work through them and sometimes people change agents. That's, you know, a part of the process, but I don't know that it happens. I don't know that it happens at the initial call. I don't know that I've had anyone be so appalling or concerning that I ran away from the call and just thought like, I'm not, not that one. <laughs> not, um, people are usually pretty well behaved at the start. Well, and I'm uh, un uh, unbelievably biased because I think authors are just better people than everyone else. Uh, <laughs> but I always assume that if somebody can write a book that's beautiful enough that you would want to give them the phone call, that they should be somewhat enlightened enough to maybe be a decent human being. Although there are a couple of authors I won't name who would prove me wrong. <laughs> We have all we have all met at least one author who who shook us to our core. <laughs> There's that that thing, don't meet your idols, um, which can be true. Um, but no, you're right. Authors are are largely wonderful, uh, neurotic, uh, fantastic people that are um, a joy to work with. Um, yeah, but you know, not everyone not everyone's a match.